I was doing that thing that sometimes happens where you're like, oh, you're just exploring, you're doing your thing, and then you stumble across the thing you got to do next. So that's what I did. Over in the Fandora drifts this giant icicle. This giant icicle fell down here. I shot it with uh, this thing here. And uh, now I guess that's the way I got to go. So now that I have the wave beam, I can pursue my way through here. And all the way down toward this area, which is apparently the research co for the pirates, because I was actually editing last episode standing still. And then it was like, hey, uh, this whole thing over here is where you got to go next. So I guess if you just stand there for long enough and don't do anything, the game is kind of like, hey, uh, go this way. So that's what I'm doing. My name is Brian Saviano. Bricks. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, Brian. Hopefully you're doing as well as you possibly can. Given the circumstances of the world and the world around you, I don't know what exactly that did. It dropped me down here, which I've already been this way, so I gotta go the other way. A little bit of confusing Metroid action. I did end up saving, which is obviously key. Glad I could do that. Uh, okay, so I gotta head up. Okay, instead of ramming me over here, y'all, relax, okay. Gotta make my way up toward that wave beam door. Which, yeah, having this double jump now, obviously super helpful. Uh, like this right here, right? This is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, up toward here. Yes, lest I forget, I can go up toward this way now. Is this anything? No, definitely not anything over here. How about the wave beam door? Where are we at with the wave beam door? Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. My apologies. One and a two and a boom. There we go. So I'm continuing through the Fandora, the fan, Fandora, the fandom drifts. I don't know what exactly they're called. Whatever. It's okay. It's the icy area and I'm getting schlooped on, which is not a phrase I thought I'd say, but I guess it is Valentine's Day. So whatever. So this, I, this is the next confusing little bit, right? This whole thing with the magnetic stuff. That'll probably be what I do next. So that's fine. Uh, I didn't mean to pause there. My apologies. Yeah. Tonight is Valentine's Day. I'm playing this on Valentine's Day. I could be out at the clubs. I could be out uh, schmoozing and cruising. Like, hey, ladies, what's going on? Uh, but instead, I'm here. So you're welcome. So, you know, every year on Valentine's Day, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm not going to be alone next Valentine's Day. And you know what? I don't put in the effort I should to get myself into a meaningful relationship. Not that it's uh, sometimes a thing you can control. Sometimes you just can't. Sometimes it's like, hey. It's not the time, or there are no, no options in this moment that correlate with the brand values of Mr. Bricks O'Brien. Can I really not go this way? Is this really it? Can I just not do it? I can totally go this way, right? Yeah, I can do this. Okay. For some reason, I did not see this. Here we go. Ah, uh, hello? Hello? There we go. Uh, this? This? Yeah, that's totally it. Okay. Uh, water? I don't know what that did. Okay. Oh, I didn't see this over here. No, I did not. Here we go. Did not see that. Well, now all of them are open? Yeah, water. Oh, not quite. Well, you get the idea. So, you know, Valentine's Day, sometimes people are, they get all, you know, sad about this sort of a day. It's one of those holidays, kind of kind of like um, the parental holidays, I guess. No, not the parental holidays, but some of the holidays are just like, hey, uh, we're going to make this a holiday so we can sell you a bunch of stuff. And that's kind of what Valentine's Day is like in a lot of ways. Gives people an excuse to go out for a date night or whatever else they have going on uh, get away from the kids or whatever um and it hasn't been something i've wanted to uh you know like i obviously want to be in a relationship and all that's oh i thought that was the water level rising and being an issue Oh, eventually it goes back down. Oh, I see what we're doing here. Okay, so we got a couple paths, right? A couple pathways. We got one, two, and... Is this actually available? Is this open? No, definitely not open. All right, so 
This is probably the way if I had to take a guess, right? Just kidding, definitely not. All right, so the way to go is this way, which means if I'm playing Metroid, it means I gotta go this way in order to access whatever super, oh, it's just a save area. Okay, sure, that's fine. That's good too. Yeah, some people get all, you know, in a tizzy about not having a date on Valentine's Day or anything. It's actually the worst day of the year to go on a date for Valentine's. Valentine's, you normally want to do a date where it's with somebody you actually are dating or, you know, have had a couple dates with. But, like, imagine imagine the pressure of going on a first date on Valentine's Day of all days. You know what I mean? It just, it doesn't, it, ah, I, uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. Whoa. Okay. That's kind of spicy. Whoa. What are you? Actually, can't even register you in the thing. All right. Well, that was a bit of a, a bit of a scare. A little Valentine scare. I thought there was something crawling on the ceiling, alien style. I'm like, whoa. All right. Never mind. I was going to say, is anything lurking? Lurking around these parts? Ooh. What are you? You look evil. Uh-oh. Yep, can't get out of here. Uh. All right, so these look like, uh, raptor-looking things over here. Let me see if I can scan one of them real quick. All right, uh, space pirate, sentient aggressor species, well-trained. Uh, it's the galvanic accelerator cannons in the forearm. It seeks to be dominant. Okay. Well, only result matter. They take these very seriously. All right, so I guess it's just literally, uh, just destroy them as you normally would. That's fine by me. That's totally fine by me. And then, yeah, obviously, uh, stunning them here is going to be very important for uh, what I'm doing. Right? There we go. And I can obviously uh, dodge like this all over toward this way and uh, make the best of the situation regardless of anything else. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not doing a great job here, but I'm doing a job, I guess. Doors have been unlocked. All right, so that was a little spicy. Nice, nice uh, way to show love on Valentine's Day, you know? Which is really what this day is truly about. Okay. The day is truly about showing love, whether it is to your significant other, your friends, your family, yourself, whatever that means. Loving one's self and the people around you is uh, just as important as, uh, you know, having a date for Valentine's Day. I forgot. It can't be open with that weapon. Here we go. Is this the way... Because I did see it. I, I'm always very, not paranoid, but I'm like, ah, is this the way? Should I go another way? Should I do this? Should I do that? I'm trying to get the thing here. What's this? Oh, it's the map. I'm 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 gonna be the map. The map. There we go. Where are you? Folded up in Dora's backpack? Where are we? All right, so we got most of it discovered already. But it looks like, yeah, the main Pirate Cove area is over there. There's going to be a semi-boss battle over here, most likely. That's awesome. Great. Or it kind of looks like a boss battle. Uh, it's gearing up toward it. So we were over here before, and now we're... Okay, so it's clearly having me go up to the right first and then all the way back. That's fine. So my plan today, I was going to go and get like a nice meal, but I'm like, I'm actually not feeling a nice meal today. I'm feeling just kind of keep that low key. I did get a flavor of Ben and Jerry's to have. So I am going to be having some ice cream, which I'm excited about. And then I'll probably just have whatever's in the freezer over here for a, uh, you know, a meal or something. Nothing too crazy. I was going to get chicken parm with fusilli as my meal of choice for Valentine's Day. Definitely a battle going to unfold right here. Yes, indeed. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, so it's two missiles, and that's how they're done over here. And they're heat-seeking. Interesting. Okay. I didn't realize these would be uh, heat-seeking missiles over here. The battle music's still going, so... There must be some bad people, right? What's this? Pirate data? Okay, entry logged. Okay, in the logbook as well. I don't know if it's different logs. I don't know. How many logs can you possibly have, right? Uh, scan this. Yeah, sure. Please step into the hologram. You got it. Uh. Okay, good. All right, nice. Oh, I see the Metroid. Hey, there's a Metroid. 
There we go. I only briefly remember the Metroid from uh, Dread, right? There is a Metroid in Dread. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's, that's the name of the franchise. Of course, there's a Metroid in Metroid Dread. What am I talking about? But like, I don't remember. It was what, two years ago? Basically, it's like it happened a lifetime ago at this point. You look different, actually. Morphology. Oh, no, it's the same thing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. There's no, like, melee attack? Seriously? No melee attack for you? That's kind of surprising, actually. There we go. So it's probably like a one-two combo, right? Between having the, the rocket launcher and the, uh, the charge-up beam here. Imagine if I didn't have the charge beam. Wow. That would have been especially bad here. Yep, one, two. There we go. So now I can see how I'm going through, you know, 15 of these uh, rockets at any given point here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now I can understand. Metroid... Warning, do not handle sedated Xenomes without proper ice containment equipment. Well, I definitely don't have that, so that's going to be bad news bears for sure. Gravity flip? No. Well, it kind of seemed like that, but not quite. One, hit him with the two. There we go. How many more of these can you possibly throw at me? Come on now. At least they give you a couple each time, right? Uh, and you know what? This is probably what it's going to be right before boss battle. They're like, yeah, we're going to eradicate all your health. And all your everything, because we don't want you being prepared for this thing at all. I'm just, I'm anticipating it. I feel it in my bones, you know? Ah, big room. Okay, never mind. Big room. Big room. Get him out. Get him out. Well, luckily, I have a little bit of a advantage point here. That's good. Uh-huh. One, and then two. Nice. Uh, ooh. I was doing a little... Oh, I was dropping down. I'm like, wait, why am I shimmying? I didn't manage to do a little shimmy move. It wasn't a conscious thing I was supposed to be doing, but all right, sure. There we go. More? Oh, a lot more. Here we go. Now we're talking. The whole game, there hasn't been a lot of these uh, space pirate enemies, these Ridley-looking things. Well, they're not, they don't look like Ridley at all, but like, you know, they're clearly from Ridley, right? This is going to be bad. This is going to be very bad. All right, let me let me prepare first. Give me this. <laughs> Actually, it disappeared. All right, never mind. Clearly, I can launch myself into here, right? There's going to be a little a little something. So, uh, sequence initialized. Okay. Okay. I guess it's going to be as simple as that. All right. Well, I'm good with that. So, anyways, yes. Don't worry about it being Valentine's Day. You're obviously watching this after the fact. But even in future years, don't feel like you're uh, pressured to find a date or do anything like that. Just uh, take care of yourself. Take care of the people around you. Those things arrive in time. At least that's what everybody tells me. And I'm not going to stress it. Instead, I'm going to play more Metroid. All right. Maybe make this your annual tradition. You're like, you know what? I watched Brian play Metroid on... Valentine's Day or close to it. Might as well make that happen for myself. All right, we're powering something up. And by we, I, I kind of do mean me in a way. Uh, I need to go forward here. There we go. Uh, energy beam. You know, what I'm surprised that there's not like enemies that try to invade while I'm doing this. The space pirates. I forget why the space pirates are a thing, you know? Maybe it's because I don't ever read the lore. That's actually something people have called me out for. They're like, Brian, you don't read anything ever. You wrote this children's book, you know, or you don't read any of the dialogue in any games ever. It's like, yeah, well, a lot of the time it doesn't really matter. Hey, planets, look at that. That looks like a solar system. That looks like a health upgrade. Probably. I'd assume so. Okay. It randomly transformed me into a ball again for uh, seemingly no reason, but that's okay. So... That's the cosmos. It's looking like a uh, sun. And I mean, I'm not on different planets for this game, right? I mean, it doesn't seem like it, at least. It only seems like, uh, yeah, one thing. Health upgrade, presumably, yes. Ooh, no, it's the beam thing. The tractor beam, right? Give me the beam. Super missile, never mind. Wrong. Okay, powerful that uses five missiles using the power beam. Press and hold ZR and A. Okay. See if I can uh, pull this off here. 
ZR and A. Oh, I get it now. So using this particular weapon, and then I charge it, press R, that launches out a super missile like that, and I can open up things that way. But if I'm on this weapon here, and I try to do it, it doesn't do anything. So there's clearly a different missile that I can get, or or whatever, like whatever the circumstance is, right? It can uh, manage to work out that way. So I should go over here first, considering the super missile um, was the door over here. And now I can actually see where I'm going, which is great. Hey, there's a save point, or a recharge point at least. It took me a half second to figure it out, just like it did with the, um, the wave beam at first, because although having the directions on screen certainly helps, sometimes it just, for me, figuring out what the actual um, button input is, is um, very important. And yeah, obviously this system of like switching weapons and stuff isn't typically what you do in games and whatnot, right? So like for the weapons, you have to hold down a button, then switch. For the everything else, you just switch on the fly like that. So it's, you know, a little weird with how it works, but you know, it is what it is. It's all good. I get it. I'm not being a, a Goomba in a cake, or at least I don't think I am. Just come on. There we go. I forgot about that. There it is. All right, so then we switch to this. There it is. And now, control tower. I mean, hey, man. It's kind of self-explanatory, right? Kind of have to go where I got to go. Just take a look at the map real quick. It looks like I'm heading straight for that room. The room where it happened, the room where it happened. Uh, that's a uh, reference to Hamilton, which is not family friendly. You know, you probably, a lot of you actually watch it, so whatever. Let me see if I can uh, charge this up and then do this. Nope, that's actually not, oh, I'm out of, I'm out of missiles. That's why, that's why this is a bit more, um, you know, not as fluid as I want it to be. I'm like, why is it this super missile thing working, man? Seems a little, uh, suspicious, you know? Uh-oh, a flying one. A flying ones, I should say, plural. Okay, let's do this. Oh, yep, I forgot. Obviously you can fly, it's a little bit more involved than that. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, going for the dive there. I should probably scan you real quick, right? Yeah, I should. Not that I necessarily need to know your ins and outs, but probably hitting your, um, hitting your, uh, thrusters here is gonna be a bit more in line with what needs to be done, and they kind of just toss themselves off whatever ledge they need to to get the mission done, which, you know, I get that, but, like, come on, seriously? Just causing uh, more problems for yours truly here. Oh, there's more! But wait, there's more! Call now and receive 19 free months of subscription when you dial 855 Metroid. That's it, just 855. I don't actually know if that's the phone number. Don't call 855, I have no idea. No context at all. I made that up entirely. That is not a ringing endorsement for anything at all. That's just like what those cheesy infomercials do to get you to buy their stuff that's probably produced in a factory that's super inexpensive for them to make. Don't bother with that stuff. Don't bother with that stuff. It's not not uh, not worth your time. Definitely not worth your time. Here we go. Down to it. So, uh, yeah, after this, I'll definitely be uh, getting some dinner, having the... Wait, I went to the wrong place. 100% went to the wrong... <laughs> 100% went the wrong way. Go figure. That's how you know. It's been a long day, and then my my time for doing videos is coming to a close, at least for today. Got to uh, call it quits at some point here. I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing this again. Nope. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Just going to leave it. Let it be. Once you clear out the room one time, the room wherever it happened once, then uh, you're good to go. All right, we good here? Yeah, this is the undiscovered way. And now I'm really doing myself a disservice by, uh, you know, obviously not uh, destroying these properly here. So whoops. Ooh, spooky. Very spooky. Is this a Metroid? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Hello. Hi, buddy. I forget, is this my friend? I think the Metroid's my friend. 
I think so. Hey, man. Uh... Creature entry. It's a Talon Metroid energy-based parasitic predator. The effects of the Fazon have turned these Metroids, a species of alpha predator, into a unique subspecies found only on Talon 4. The only way to shake an attached Talon Metroid is to enter the Morph Ball mode and lay a bomb. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, good to know. Good to know. There we go. Uh, do this. Uh-huh. There we go. I didn't realize it was going to be a problem. So you're definitely going to be not a friend. Yeah, you're not a friend. Okay, for some reason I thought they were. Okay, well, you know, that's one way to go about handling it, sure. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm getting better at that, though. Dodging from side to side. That's great. Oh, never mind. Uh, big Metroid. Big thing down here, actually. Uh-huh. Ooh, I'm actually doing really bad, actually. Hold on. I need to not be doing awfully here, actually. Uh-huh. Oh, that's bad. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Uh... Yes. There we go. There's a double-double. Are you gonna... You're, you're totally gonna charge out of here, right? Oh, there's this. What's this? What's this? What's this? Energy tank. Yeah, I want that. Hold up. Pause. Uh, okay. Remove immediately. What? Empty stasis chip. Yeah, I know. I know what you are. Can I unlock you? Uh... I don't know. Maybe, uh, over here? Pirate data there. Yep. Pirate data here? Pirate data there. Yep. This? Yeah, but I want that energy tank, dude. I'm not, uh, I'm not leaving here quite yet. I want that energy tank, man. Meow, meow. Over here? Yeah, let's go. Forget about it. Why not, right? Let's go. Ignore all that noise. Uh... Oh. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Well, forget about that. Uh-huh. Uh... Oh, yeah, you look, uh, you look bad. You look very bad. Testing a thermal imaging software complete. Okay. You got it. Uh-huh. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. So I can do this. There it is. I'm looking for the super missile. Just like this. There it is. And I want to make sure I grab these before I get out of here. Sorry for not, uh, being as, I don't know, involved as I could be. I'm trying to make sure I, uh, cross my T's and dot all my I's here. All right. Hey, yo. Central take auxiliary circuit connection terminate. Oh, terminated. Whoops. New visor. As a matter of fact, I think so. Never mind. Hold on. Give me a second. Whoops. One, two. Oh, there's multiple. Yes. Whoops. I'm a Goomba. And there's definitely one way, way up there. Yeah, there is. Is there? Can I just grab it? No. Dang it. I messed up. There's one way up here. I was just getting a little ahead of myself. My apologies. I didn't realize. Okay, yep, right here. There we go. Nope. Way up here? I'm right there? No, I gotta go way up. So, oh, they're all little Metroids all around here. So, I guess I'll just keep figuring out whatever the context is and uh, eventually find the answers to whatever the Metroid are being, you know, very, very friendly. Or if they're just very angsty, at least as of right now, given everything going on. Oh, I didn't get that one on the right. I got the one on the right, not the one on the left. Whoops. Give me this new visor. New visor. Come on. Yeah. That's how it's done. Shuckling, shuckling. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So I can see thermal now, which means anything uh, warm-blooded, I can easily see. And now that means I gotta get on out of here. Ooh, this looks spicy. Oh, hi. Okay. 
Oh, that's why. That's why I understand now, because it's dark in here. Just like the inner thoughts of my mind. Yes. Here we go. And I can probably see where uh, all these... What's it there? Like all these different projectiles and whatnot, right? Oh, yeah, that's terrifying. Oh, you can't see anything. All right, even if I look at my little uh, preview here, you can't see a darn thing. So apologize if it looks a little distorted and blurry. It's very clearly intentional. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got some Goombas. We got some little itty-bitties. Little itty-bitty Goombas. Oh, that's actually very easy to destroy them. All right, cool. Well, not going to make a habit of that, especially not a, a pro gamer's guide habit. Although I don't have any more. Uh, you're clearly going to burst out of your cage right now, right? Yeah, you are. Okay. Very predictable, but hey, it's fine. Can't use my super special. I only got three, so that's fine too. There we go. Hey, thanks, man. A little itty bitty. So, again, haven't encountered any sort of uh, boss battle or anything. But at least this, this does feel a bit more eventful than it has been for, like, the entire rest of the game so far. It definitely uh, picked up a lot of energy in the past uh, couple, uh, couple uh, episodes here, you know? Obviously, I'm only a little bit of ways in, but I definitely feel the, uh, the good energy. Uh-huh. No! Definitely not. Okay. Now, if I get bombarded with, like, four of them, yeah, then that's going to be an issue here. Uh, what do I do? Oh, you can't even scan it. Okay. Uh, okay, so clearly this, maybe? That happens. Oh, there we go. Now I can get through here. Creature entry data, the sentry drone. Oh, and you can't see that. That's for sure. Whoops. Whoa. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Relax, dude. Whoa. Come on. I know my energy is low. Jeez. Whoa, that was way too much, man. Gee, cheese and crackers, dude. And I gotta do this? Only 48? Come on now. Come on. Nope. Nope, I have no missiles at all. Come on, seriously. Come on. Thank you. Give me some health, please. Something. No, seriously? And I gotta do this all in the dark? What a bunch of- Oh, no! 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 Right here? Please. Please, nothing? Come on! Come on! Obviously can't see anything here. I gotta be really strategic here, man. Come on now. Oh, I got ten. Come on. Ooh, you're dodging everything, man. Seriously? What if I just do this? <laughs> what if I just do this? Come on. He's not doing anything, so, like, I don't know. Just keep fighting. <laughs> just keep going. Just keep going. No. Come on. There we go, finally. Mamma mia. Nope. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Okay. Whoa. Definitely no. I need energy. Energy. I need you. I need you. Big time. Okay, yeah, I know, I know that. Seriously, man, come on. Nothing? Man, that stinks. That really stinks. A lot. Uh, I see you up here. You're meowing it out, officially, man. 
You are definitely meowing it out. Holy mackerel. Holy. Come on now. Man, I'm struggling here, dude. Oh, you can't even lock onto him right there. Okay. They really gave me a good time to not give any health or anything at all. Seriously? Man. Come on now. Come on. No, 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 Nope. Nope. Come on. Right here. Right here. The missiles do nothing, man. Not, but they're not. He's not coming after me. He's not shooting anything at me, at least. This is definitely not how this should be going, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. Holy Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, dude. Seriously. Unbelievable. Nothing. No, oh, well, a little bit. Oh, yeah, 20 health. So I can at least stop screeching in your ear with my health. What a nice, helpful little surprise. Thanks. Okay, well, that at least seems to be done. Uh, the thermal's obviously not great. The everything, basically, not great. But, you know. I keep recording all these data entry points, but whatever. That's fine. Any health in here? Definitely not. Okay. Whoa! Hold on. How far back? How far? I saved frequently, though. I did save frequently. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to call it quits. Uh, I'm going to eat dinner and enjoy my Valentine's Day alone. See you in the next episode. Bye.